Let's talk about Donald Trump's new anti-media ad. Let's first watch. Donald Trump, sworn in as president 100 days ago, America has rarely seen such success. A respected Supreme Court justice confirmed. Companies investing in American jobs again. America becoming more energy independent. Regulations that kill American jobs eliminated. The biggest tax cut plan in history. You wouldn't know it from watching the news. America is winning and President Trump is making America great again. I'm Donald Trump and I approve this message. All right, so a number of networks, according to Huffington Post, CNN, ABC, CBS, NBC are refusing to air the Donald <laughs> Trump 2020 campaign ad. I didn't even realize it was like an actual campaign ad. We'll talk mm -hmm. about that. That's how they're describing it. And we've now heard from the Trump campaign. So they've responded, uh, presidential campaign consultant and his daughter-in-law, <laughs> Laura Trump. She says, quote, she's calling it an unprecedented act of censorship in America that should concern every freedom loving citizen. She goes on to say later in the statement, she says, quote, apparently the mainstream media are champions of the First Amendment only when it serves their own political views. Now, CNN, they issued a statement and NBC Universal and ABC, they offered similar ex, uh, explanations of why they rejected the ad. CNN said, quote, if the inaccurate fake news graphic was removed, there would be no problem airing the spot. What did you guys think when you saw the ad? Okay, is this censorship? Well, no, because I think we should remember that the the First Amendment doesn't protect false speech. So there there is a distinction there that I think that these this media wouldn't, companies this are wouldn't talking violate about. that. I mean, you're right, but still, like the whole the graphic of the fake news media, you, there is an argument to be made on their behalf of like, well, we're not. Fake news. No, it's, and I mean, showing it's, your head it's, it's, right. that's exactly right. political speech. Anger. That's exactly political speech. The thing is, is it's an ad, and they can refuse to run an ad. It's when someone says, like, "Do you want to accept money for this product?" And they're like, "No, we're good, thanks." Why would they want to do that? They can still buy spots, though. Donald Trump's campaign can still buy spots on local access. It's it, just on the national level that they won't be able to run it, right? Isn't like, that? well, they can buy ads anywhere that will accept their money mm -hmm. and run the ads. And this is one place. It's like, are you kidding me? You're being a dick. Why should we be nice to you? Exactly. And I mean, let's call it what it is. It is censorship to some degree, and also Donald Trump and that whole campaign is lambasting these networks' corporate assets, which is their on-camera talent. You're basically saying these that these people who are faces of these networks are fucking losers. Yeah, why are we going after Scott Pelley? Right, but I mean, <laughs> Scott then, Pelley's like this very earnest Laura, newsman. And, and Rachel Maddow, Laura, Laura Trump says that you know it's it's sad that these media outlets don't want to accept the facts. Well. Okay, what this ad is not factual. What you're saying is that he's been so successful in his first 100 days that it's, it's blowing our minds. It's not that's fake news, right? So I mean, I. She also said too in the interview that she like for Americans that don't watch Fox News, she gave Fox News a shout out, saying if you don't watch Fox News, then you probably are not getting all the correct information. So understandably, these competing networks are going to be like, then fine, air it on Fox News. We don't want, we don't care about. Well, this. it's been passed around. It's been circulated through a lot of different right wing websites and sense and it's been pulled it's all over social media and that's scary because it is giving the people um, you know they're they're going to watch an ad like that and it's going to depending on what their views are but it's going to reinforce their views not to believe the media right so and this that's is pretty frightening people mm -hmm. that agree with you are going to agree with you more there's no one that they're actually whose minds they're actually going to convince um, what I also like about this is Trump spent the week before this ad came out downplaying the what he called the artificial 100 day mark. And and then he goes and says, you know, you shouldn't judge someone by what they do in 100 days. But I was so awesome my first 100 right. days. Also, he quotes a Boston Globe ad where he says it's the biggest tax cut in history. If you read that article, the Boston Globe isn't saying it's the biggest tax cut in history. They're quoting Donald Trump's office wow. saying that it's the biggest tax cut in history. The rest of that article says stuff like, um, you know, Donald Trump has, it's a one page sketch short on details and it'll uh, shift the tax burden away from the wealthy onto people who can't afford it. So that's what's so frustrating about it. It goes after the other news for being fake, but it is doing everything that you would criticize someone for doing if they wanted to stress but fake this news. Is he talks about the Keystone Pipeline, you know, that's A, 
it'll make the sky look like the sky behind him as he's going like this, like District 12 sky, like Matrix sky. It, he's all the uh, you know uh, regulations he's repealing. A lot of them are environmental, so you're going to be screwed up. Yeah, he's bragging about it when there's a, a, a crap load of people like myself and like the TYT network who's really take the, taken a stance to advocate to protect the environment mm -hmm. and against you know the DAPL. So that's really scary. It is. Uh, we have a minute left, so quick. Okay. Well, quick, quick, really quickly. Quick. What what I was going to say is that thought. Sam, you pointed out how this is going to get shared online to right-wing publications. And it already has. And it's going to be great because it make, paints him still as the underdog, which is what you need to drum up support since this is a 2020 campaign ad. Right. So in that dog, sense, it's an effective ad. Good. Again, why is he campaigning for 2020 100 days in? Gosh, I know. I know. Because it's always campaign season. No. And at the core of journalism, it's to tell the truth, to be yeah. as factual as possible. Elizabeth I, Warren is campaigning for president right now. She's everywhere with her new book. So it's never too early to start. Right. And if he's got the money, he's spending it. And he's, he's going to.